Let us now welcome Mr. Uwe Monovens, founding chairman of the International Peace Foundation, to deliver a speech. Your Royal Highness, Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, friends, welcome to the second ASEAN Event Series Bridges Dialogues Towards the Future of Peace. Bridges is facilitated by the International Peace Foundation a non-political and non-religious foundation under the common patronage of 21 Nobel Peace Prize laureates. It's based in Vienna and the events are hosted in cooperation with various local partners, including the country's major universities. I would like to thank the Open University Malaysia and its president, Professor Tansri Datuk, Dr. Anwar Ali, for hosting our event today. Starting in November 2008, Bridges is being continuously held here in Malaysia and in Thailand until April 2009, involving the participation of Nobel laureates for peace, physics, chemistry, medicine, and economics. The second ASEAN series of Bridges is an independent contribution to the Decade for a Culture of Peace and Nonviolence, initiated and promoted by the United Nations General Assembly. It follows the Bridges series, which the International Peace Foundation has already hosted in Thailand and the Philippines since 2003. The pluralistic program of Bridges highlights the International Peace Foundation's intercultural and transdisciplinary approach towards peace. The foundation doesn't take sides, but acts as a mediator by creating an independent platform for dialogue where representatives of science, politics, Economy, culture, religion, the media, and youth can meet, share their viewpoints, listen to each other, and find mutual ways of understanding and cooperation. Therefore, the foundation itself is a bridge and a facilitator between different language groups in our divided societies, where politicians speak another language than scientists, and another language than artists and business and religious leaders speak another uh, language. They all speak different languages. In a highly interdependent world, though, problems cannot be solved by either one of these language groups only, but by working together. After the success of its Bridges programs in Thailand and the Philippines, the International Peace Foundation has been invited by other ASEAN countries to build further bridges towards peace and international understanding by expanding its program in Southeast Asia to stimulate the intellectual, scientific, and cultural exchange in the region. The second ASEAN Bridges series therefore continuously takes place in Malaysia and Thailand from November 2008 to April 2009, comprising events with Nobel laureates from all fields. The Nobel laureates will visit the region not all at once, but separately to conduct public lectures, seminars, workshops and dialogues hosted by local institutions during a continuous period of six months. The aim of Bridges is to facilitate and strengthen dialogue and communication between societies in Southeast Asia with their multiple cultures and faiths, as well as with peoples in other parts of the world, to promote understanding and trust. The events aim at building bridges through Nobel laureates with local universities and other institutions in Southeast Asia to establish long-term relationships which may result in common research programs and other forms of collaboration. By enhancing science, technology, and education as a basis for peace and development, the events may lead to a better cooperation for the advancement of peace, freedom, and security in the region with the active involvement of the young generation, ASEAN's key to the future. This is why Bridges is not designed as a one-time event, but as a continuing process of synergies to make a series of events a sustainable success for Malaysia and for Southeast Asia as a whole. I'm grateful to the Malaysian Honorary Chairman of Bridges, His Royal Highness Rajanasran Shah, and to our Chairman, to Musa Hikam. Their powerful guidance paved the way for Bridges to bear fruit. I'm also grateful to the representatives of our local partner institutions who have developed the detailed schedule of events in continuous meetings, as well as to our sponsors who have enabled us to make the idea of Bridges a reality. I would like to say thank you to everyone present today for taking part in this program. May it help us to facilitate a new culture of peace through dialogue, transcending its definition as merely the absence of war or armed conflict into a new understanding what the basis for peace is, education.
In this spirit, we welcome today the 1999 Nobel Laureate for Physics, Professor Gerard Edhoft, who has agreed to come to Malaysia to support the events. We all look forward to his keynote speech and to his important contribution to build bridges. Thank you very much. We'd like to invite on stage Yanko Bahadir, Dr. Professor Dr. Ishak Tandikachi, to introduce our distinguished speaker. Besides being one of the world's most accomplished scientists in 
interestingly, Professor Hoff is also a science fiction writer, and one title, Playing with Planets, is among his latest publications. I hope you can get hold of it. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we are very honored this morning to have Professor Ed Hoff delivering a lecture. May I now invite Professor Eraldus Ed Hoff to deliver his public lecture. Professor 